Let's start with the ninth chapter that is biomechanics and sports. In history of physical education and sports, individuals have been interested in enhancing their performance. Today, physical education teachers, coaches, and physical trainers are concerned with the helping individuals to learn how to move efficiently and effectively. In primary and high school, stress is laid down on learning fundamental motor skill, which provides the base for learning of advanced sport skills. The teacher as well as coaches always make the best effort to improve the performance of students in various competitive games and sports. They can be able to perform to improve uh, and uh, the performance of uh, students if they have adequate knowledge of biomechanics nowadays biomechanics is playing a very uh, vital role in improving performance of a sports person biomechanics is sub discipline of physical education the term biomechanics is combination of two words bio and mechanics bio is greek word meaning life and mechanics is the field of physics that force uh, and the forces that acts on moving body in motion the primary purpose of biomechanics is to evaluate a living organism motion as well as application of force in other words, biomechanics is a subdiscipline that, uh, that applies the laws of mechanics and physics to study the body, uh, mo bodily movements and the causes of movements both internally and externally. It can also be said that biomechanics is a study of forces that if, uh, and their effect on living system. Projectile and factors affecting projectile trajectory. Projectile. An object thrown in space either horizontally or an acute angle under uh, action of gravity is called projectile. There, is, there are two forces acting on projectile, gravitational force and air resistance. Air resistance of an object varies greatly and it is dependent on object's particular shape and atmospheric condition in which the uh, object is released or projected. The path followed by the projectile is called trajectory of parabola.